Good morning. It's uh, last day of travel. I just uh, filled up with gas and uh, put a quart of oil in it. And away uh, we're going. We're uh, leaving Burns, headed for Bend, 125 miles from here. Uh, the car is anxious to get home. We got started uh, around 7 o'clock and the car started on the uh, first try. It was, it was amazing. It's like I want to get home to my new home. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. That's good. So uh, we're going to just take it easy and uh, going to be in Bend by around 10 o'clock this morning, uh, which is pretty early for the end of the destination, but it's been a long haul and uh, we're excited to finish up this last 100 miles. It's, uh, it's fun having people follow uh, this journey. I got a text this morning from Sue, who is Chris's wife. And she says, she works at the shop too, and she said the boys were, uh, Chris and the boys were at lunch yesterday talking about the boot, the leather boot. She says, I can't believe they were talking about that. And then I saw your post this morning and uh, the leather boot was the issue. It's like, well, that's... Uh, that's the magic that's happened on this trip the whole time. It's been pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, well, I must admit, uh, I wasn't expecting to make it all the way. I wanted to, and I know Chris put in a lot of effort, as well as Jose and the, and the rest of the team there at World Auto. They've done just a great job, but come on, it's an old car and it hadn't been driven in 55 years and you're going to drive it 2,000 miles? Okay, good luck. But uh, we're, we're down to 100 miles to go. I mean, the last 100 miles, so uh, we're going to just take it easy and finish it up. Ah, it's a good day. It looks clear. It's a good day emotionally. It's a little cloudy and overcast, like it might, you know, rain. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Just crossed the Deschutes County line, so I'm in Deschutes County where Ben De resides. Whoops. It's pretty flat here. This is Central Oregon. This is kind of what it looks like until you get to the mountains, which uh, we should see uh, in probably 30 miles. Little bits of rain here and there, but nothing serious. And, uh, hopefully it's going to clear up today and be uh, about 92 degrees or something like that. This is Central Oregon. This uh, section over here on the right is called the Badlands, and it's a uh, old growth forest of junipers, which can be as old as a thousand to 1500 years old in here. They're pretty amazing. Ah, and look at, you can, Maybe you can make out the mountains there. There's the uh, Broken Top and the Three Sisters and Mount Washington, Three Finger Jack, Mount 
Jefferson, all within view of Bend. It's a gorgeous part of Oregon for sure. And of course our ski resort, which is Mount Bachelor, which is far left over there. You can see from time to time. This is uh, this is the same road that uh, when Kate and I moved to Bend, uh, we came in on this road, and we're just totally stunned by the view of the mountains. We had been in Bend only a couple of days uh, prior to moving here, so we didn't know much about it, but we loved the feel of it, and uh, as it turns out, that's been 18 years. I'm getting the same tingling coming back, especially bringing Old Blue back here. Bringing Blue back to the things I love here in Bend. Uh, it's, uh, it's starting to get a little emotional here. As it should be. We're getting closer. We're about six miles out of town, and uh, you can see the mountains. They've gotten much closer. <laughs> it's amazing how that works here. They seem to move around. One hundred miles, fourteen days. Wow, wow, wow. I never thought this day would come. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Okay, this is the final leg of this. Uh, journey here. This is uh, me, me getting off the uh, highway and into the street I live in without getting killed by all of this traffic. This is what I deal with every time I come in and out of my road, Bowery Lane which really glad to see. Here it is. Here it is, the home stretch. This is my neighborhood. little one lane road there are 14 households in this uh, little uh, area here of which I'm one everybody has six or ten acres are my neighbors here. This is 
my one neighbor right next to me he lives right there. property which is on the left and if you look up up there you can see kind of my house Home. Amazing. Amazing. This is my work car, but this will be my new work car. And this is my house. This is my house. And let me take you around back real quick before I go in. Give you a little tour. This is the living room area here. Oh, and this is the deck that I spend a lot of time in. And my pond. Oh, it feels so good to be home. Nice.